Hey, what's up? This is Todd Smith. I'm back with another video. In this video, I want to speak about Korg, the Monopoly, and Barrager's clone. Do you think Korg will ever create a version of their own? Do you think it's too late? Do you think they missed the ship and the ship has already sailed? Or are you one of those people that would wait for Korg and Korg's version to get a Monopoly if they were going to do it? As always, I need to thank the viewers and patrons of this channel. Without your views and support, I wouldn't have the motivation to pump out content pretty much every single day push my music and dreams forward and I can't really thank you enough for the support. Everything down to just the basic views really helps this channel grow so thank you so much for that. Now jumping back to Korg, Behringer and this Monopoly. Behringer definitely beat Korg to the punch. There's no way around that. They got theirs out first and I don't even think Korg has really even announced they are developing one yet. I know they showed interest and they said that it's a possibility in the future and it's something they hinted towards but whether or not it's actually in development and if it is how far down the pipeline in development it is really nobody knows outside of Korg. So it's official that Behringer definitely smashed it and got theirs out first which is kind of a letdown I feel on Korg's end because Korg had such a possibility to get these synthesizers out such a long time ago they really knew the demand was there and Korg was one of the very few companies that, that were not afraid to create the analog versions of their past. They got the Odyssey and the MS-20 out there, but I really feel they should have just kept going. The demand was there, the market was there. If they did keep going, they could have had a couple years in the market where they only had that version of the synthesizer. That was the only option. So now that even if they do get one out, they have the Behringer one to compete with, so they've kind of missed that boat. But you, you can't cry over spilt milk, as they say. And even if Korg does release one in the future, there are plenty of people who would skip over Behringer and buy a Korg version. That's a great thing when you have a legacy as powerful and as old and as strong as Korg. People will wait, you have fans. There are plenty of people who will choose the Korg versions and pay double the price tag for that name just because of the legacy and how much they hold to that. I love what Behringer is doing, but that's the reality of the situation. And I really believe that even if Korg released a Monopoly in a year from now, it'll still sell. I mean, it's impossible to admit they didn't lose out on some sales, I'm pretty sure the people who have been buying Behringer clones up to this point will continue to support that sector of the market, while the people who have been buying the core clones will go that direction. I don't see many of them deviating. So this comes down to the ultimate question. Would you wait for a Korg Monopoly? If the Korg Monopoly came out in six months, three months, a year from now, and had a higher price tag, would you choose the Korg Monopoly over the Behringer Monopoly clone? And are you like me? in the thinking that it, even if they do release it later that it'll still get really great sales because of the legacy and people who love the name or do you think they really missed the boat and they've lost a lot of sales because Behringer got theirs out earlier there is no right or wrong answer this is all opinion guys feel free to leave yours in the comments down below and as always I need to thank you for checking out this video stay positive stay creative support each other in peace